Hello there, I hope you are well and today I would like to share with you some new features with PHP 8.2. So PHP 8.2, at the time I'm recording this video, it's not released yet, it will be released in November 2022, the 24th. It's funny, it's almost the same day as my birthday, nearly just a few days of difference. So basically it's for my birthday, the new PHP 8.2 version. But anyways, what I would like to share with you, first of all, if you have a Mac like me and you want to upgrade your PHP version, I will show you how to do it very easily. So um, where I found upgrade PHP Mac, let's say, or here, um, obviously with Linux, you can just use, you know, apt-get and so on, and you just have to use the vendor. So here is First of all, I recommend you to do brew upgrade, um, no, sorry, brew update to update all the packages. It's not, you don't have to do it, but it's always better. And it's the same for Linux, by the way. If you use um, YAM or if you use apt-get or another package manager with your Linux distribution, uh, with Windows, maybe you use chocolate, you know, chocolate. Windows, uh, it's really good to manage and probably with this one or oh, chocolate, chocolate tree. So PHP upgrade, you can also manage your PHP version very easily, I believe. But in my case, I will show it to you on, uh, on Mac because this is what I did. And then you do brew upgrade PHP and then you do brew tap, then you add the vendor. So brew tap is to, to add a new, a new vendor. So um, brew, you know, third party repository and you use this one. And then here you have to use 8.2. So brew tap, then Shiva Master, I cannot pronounce his vendor name. Um, I think it's an Indian name, um, Shivama Sir, let's say, and slash PHP, and then here you have to mention 8.2, and then you have to link to overwrite the default PHP version to the PHP at 8.2, and then you are good to go, and finally you will be able to go in your like IntelliJ, and if you go to your terminal, you can just do PHP V. And you will see for me it's PHP 8.2. It's still dev because again the um, the official release hasn't been released yet. We are in August, so if you check, you see it's August. So this is why I am using beta PHP version of 8.2, but it's still quite stable. And now the new the new features. I have done already a previous video on my YouTube channel about the read only class so i won't speak about it um again so the read only class that will set all the um, attributes to read only by default here you see we have null true and false as um, standalone types it's really nice because some functions always return false and never true so we just want to check that the type will be either false or a string and so if it for somehow for some reason it returns True, well, PHP will complain about it. And then we have here, deprecate, that's not really a new feature. Um, we have new differences with uh, the annotations, I believe. So I haven't read this one. This is interesting. Allo dynamic properties, you can use that property, that attribute in your annotation for the properties. I don't use at the moment really often the annotations with PHP. Maybe you do already. I used to use quite a lot with Symfony and also with Doctrin, but the native one from PHP, I haven't used a lot. And then with a, um, with a thread, so um, constants in threads. Oh, that's nice. Now you can use constants as well. So you can see before we couldn't, and now you won't be able to access the concerns and name neither from outside. So we can just have a look. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And what's the other new features? Fetch properties of enum in const expressions. So the const expressions again, or you can have expressions inside. 
This is really nice. You can see that's quite good. And finally, what else do we have? Date time. So you see, there are a lot of really nice new features. Also, if I type PHP A2, um, let's have a look here. So what to expect? Let's have a read here. Dreamhost PHP 8.2. An overview. Obviously, the read only for class. It's a main new feature, and you see it's the first one actually they mentioned here, because in PHP 8.1, the new feature was the read-only keyword you could use on attributes in a class, and now you don't, if you need all attributes to be read-only, well, you can just mention the class as read-only, and so you don't have to repeat yourself to have the read-only keyword in for each attribute and it will allow you to assign a value by default, a default value once, but then if you try to assign again a second value, PHP will give you a fatal error. Finally, what else? Oh yeah, for the false, so we have now null, false, and true as a standalone type, so it's really cool, and then you have different changes, so here, Deprecate dynamic properties. So dynamic properties. Oh, uh, we deprecate an error without an error in PHP 9. Right, so in PHP 9, that won't be possible anymore to have like a string here and dynamically you would assign the value. Dynamic property, yeah, allow flexible. Yeah, I think that's nice it's because it's not really a good habit, you know, to dynamically assign random a random, uh, well, property, because here, name wasn't part of the class. So before, normally this shouldn't um, happen. I didn't even know it would be possible, unless with a STD class, when you create a instance from STD class, but otherwise, like here we have post, the only property in the class is title, and there, there they just do post equals new post, they create a new object and then they do post name equals name. So let's let's have a try. So let's create a new file. And my new file will just be test.php. It will be simple. And here we do class like test. And so there we'll have well no properties. And then I will do test equals equals new test and then I do test random equals hey so let's see and now we can try to um yeah echo this is a test beautiful and let's run our PHP server PHP flag s one two seven or or one and then the port will be eight thousand for instance Let's go there. Let's do slash test.php. And here, creation of dynamic property. You see PHP is complaining about it. But now it's a warning. It's deprecated. So that means, this means before PHP 8.2, it was possible. Wow, that's interesting. However, if I do std class, so here if I use the std class from PHP, Native one, normally I believe that will still be possible, yes. Um, but from a normal class, using a property that is not defined, so a dynamic property, because obviously now here, if I do public string and it will be random, that will be obviously possible. Let's have a look, you see, yes, this is possible. And, I, and by the way, I can also use the strict um, strict type so declare strict types equals one so uh, php won't cast the values that's always nice to have yes it works this one is because normally when you have a type like here my type of the attribute of the property string by default, it will be cast. So here, if I do a number, PHP normally would complain. Oh, 
I maybe street types. Yeah, did I do a typo? No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> it's string, so normally it should be fine. So if I do false, that's funny. Oh, sorry, it's here. Oh yeah, PHP is not um giving me a error somehow. Uh, that's interesting because normally. So declare yes. Um, let's do now public function test, and here let's do so a value here. Maybe on the property is not the case. So here let's do a string, and here let's do this random equals value. And uh, and yeah, that's it. So now let's do again. Oh, I know why PHP wasn't giving me an issue. It's because it's still on STD, STD class. So if I use, oh, sorry about this. If I do test, now it should, it should give an issue. Yeah, you see, with the type. However, if I remove the street types, it will be fine. It will just cast as a string. So if I do var dom, and then I do this value, that one now it will become a yes a string and if i do integer now it will be integer but it won't complain even if here it's a string or here it does complain because yeah, a string to integer that's not possible but otherwise it's always better at least for me in my opinion to have the declare street types it's not always possible though so yes, this is the different features in PHP 8.2. So I can't wait to have PHP 8.2 released. It will be a really fun year and I wish you all the best and probably let's see in another video. And by the way, if you wish, my GitHub is ph slash seven. I have published also a few Udemy courses. If you are interested, like this one in JavaScript and I also have the other one, which is so the JavaScript one, and this is the PHP one. So enjoy and happy coding.